Hello everybody. I'm going to try to show you how to get your portfolio updated in a way that hopefully is easy enough that you can follow along and get your work done. And if it's still a little tricky, you can watch the video again and maybe it'll make more sense the second time. So the context here is that these folders that are sitting out on my desktop are work we've done for class, which is finished, ready to go, but you haven't got it up on the web yet and you haven't got it linked to your portfolio. And obviously that's kind of important. So I've got Dreamweaver already running um, and I haven't defined a site for this process yet, but I want to explain what we're going to do. I'm going to create a new folder. Now, typically on either a Mac or Windows system, if you give a right click on the desktop, you'll find some option very much like this, new folder. And frankly, I could call it just about anything. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to give it a name like uh, portfolio, just to stay on topic. Now, as I look at the names of the other folders here, I want to be aware of whether there's anything wrong with their names as a web folder. The same sort of concerns we have about file names definitely apply to the folders we put things in. So like this one here, artists-copy with a big capital. I'm going to change. And so if there were spaces or caps, you'd want to fix it. Now, concept one. All of this diverse work that's sitting out here can simply be rounded up. In case you missed that, I just did a click and drag across the desktop surrounding the area where these folders were to select them. And then I'm just going to drag them right into the portfolio folder. Okay, so there they are, right in there. Now, I'm going to start up Dreamweaver, or rather it's already running, but let me just uh, put it up on screen. And I'm going to define a new site that will help me get this thing put together. So naturally the first step is site, new site. And I'll just give it a name, remember that's very casual. And naturally I have to very carefully pick out the folder that I want, so I'm going to browse. And it's probably obvious to all of you, but that's the guy I've got to pick. Because if I pick anything else, I won't have access to those files I need to upload. So there they are. Open. Select. Now, because we have to publish, I'm going to go over to Servers. And remember, that's Servers and the little black plus sign. I'm going to skip putting a server name on it and just put in our basic address at school, edison.seattlecentral.edu. My username. And my password. And let me just test and make sure everything's going OK. Everything looks great. So I'm going to save my work here, save my site definition. And of course now, down here, I can see all the folders in my local site files. I know I've got everybody on board. But at this point you might say, well, okay, but there's no portfolio in there. What are we going to do? So what we're going to do is log in to the server, grab a copy of the portfolio, and place it at the highest level of this site, which essentially means so it's one tiny step away from all of these folders. So let's go do that. Remember over here, the uh, expand to show local and remote sites button, I click it. I'm in FTP mode. I connect to the server. And here's what I've got. Now, this little folder right here is the index on my site. But this folder here in particular is the Web 130 folder. 
Inside of that, I've got index.html, and though these two files have identical names, they're very different files. This is the portfolio. So I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to drag it over here to Site. That's the highest level, the little green folder that appears open uh, up at the very, very top to the right. And yes, I'll say dependent files should come along. That just brings my images along from that, and it's not terribly important. You could easily work without them, but uh, why not? So I'll just close the connection, drop out of FTP mode, and I'm back. Now, if I open up my index file, I can see the current state of what's going on here in this, and uh, really I'll just start to add a few items to the list that need to be there. I've got a folder called Acme, so I'll type in Acme right here, and of course the thing that I have to link to is the index file inside of the Acme folder. Now I'm hoping you can see this on my screen here, but as I open up Acme and I look around inside I can see an index. I'm just selecting it to make it a little easier for everyone to see. And when I come back to the left hand side of the screen and select the word Acme, and I grab the point to file device, I pull it over to index.html. Now, I'm going to make this first one really, really quick and simple. So I'm saving my work. I'm closing it up. Don't really need to, but there we go. And I'm going to drop right back into FTP mode. So the two files that we've done something to, well, actually, it's really just one file. We downloaded index, and we linked it up to this folder called Acme, right? So I'm going to take index and drag it back to where it's supposed to be. Now remember, where you drop an index file can have really big repercussions. You want to put it in exactly the right place so that it replaces the old version of the one you're trying to change, and not some poor, innocent index file in some other folder which you've now destroyed. So here goes index dropping it right on Web 130. I'll say no to the dependent files because after all, you know, they're already there. And then the one thing that I need to add, because I can see that I don't have the Acme folder over here yet, is I just pick up the Acme folder right here and I'll also drop it on the Web 130 folder. And I'll say yes to dependent files. There they go. There's a lot of files in there. There's probably a lot more than I needed to actually move that time around. And essentially the portfolio is ready to go at this point. So we would build on this. We would have this file open, the portfolio, and just keep on adding everything that we need from each of these different folders, linking each new line of text to the uh, index file in the folder in question and making sure that the saved version of the portfolio and all the critical folders with our files in them got uploaded to the server. And that's how you do it.